Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to prepare dosa kaya pachdi. As you know dosa kai is also called as saute kai in Kannada. So what I have here is uh, three small sized uh, uh, dosa kais, two tomatoes. You will need to peel the skin of the dosa kai. So I have a peeler and then we will uh, uh, de-seed them and then chop the dosa kais as well as the tomatoes and uh, you will need a small ball of tamarind green chilies and red chilies according to your taste I'm taking only three and two of them because they're quite spicy uh, if you need more spice you are free to add more of the green chilies and more of the red chilies I have uh, some curry leaves in here and fresh coriander leaves I will chop them up uh, like you will see later. Now for the tempering uh, you will need uh, now this is chana dal you can take up to a teaspoonful of chana dal I'm taking just half a teaspoon uh, I have a teaspoon of turmeric uh, a teaspoon of uh, mustard it's probably a little bit lesser than a teaspoon really uh, a teaspoon of jeera a teaspoon of urad dal and a quarter teaspoon of methi seeds or fenugreek seeds uh, of course uh, you will need salt and you put that according to your taste and you will also need oil uh, to fry this a little bit okay here I have peeled deseeded and chopped the dosakais I have chopped the tomatoes as well now let's do the tempering. I took uh, one and a half teaspoons of oil in a pan and uh, I've started to heat it. I added uh, the mustard seeds, cumin, urad dal, methi seeds and the chana dal and uh, let me just mix it. It's just like how you do seasoning for your regular curries. Just mix it. You have to fry this a little bit on low flame and then add uh, uh, slit uh, green chilies onto it. Mix it a little bit. Add uh, curry leaves. and your red chilies as well. Fry it for some time until the mustard seeds crackle and until uh, the dots are roasted. Okay, it's roasted now. I took it out of the flame and I'll keep it aside for some time until I cook the dosakai and the tomatoes. Now in a separate pan, uh, take a teaspoon of oil Heat it and then add the chopped uh, dosa kais into it. Uh, we'll have to cook the dosa kai as well as uh, tomato together for four to five minutes on the on a low flame. I will add the uh, tomatoes as well. mix it up and then uh, allow it to cook for four to five minutes keep uh, mixing it up so that it does not burn at the bottom now it has cooked for like maybe three to four minutes you can see the the tomato uh, skin is peeling off uh, I just tasted the dosa kai it's still not uh, cooked well so I'll leave it in here for another couple of minutes until the uh, dosa kai becomes soft as well okay I think it's cooked enough now so the last step in making this chutney is to grind everything together in a blender when I say everything it is the dosa kai and the tomato that we just cooked the seasoning or the tempering that we prepared earlier 
and the remaining ingredients, your tamarind, the turmeric powder, and coriander. Since I'm going to blend it, I really didn't chop the coriander. I'll just put it into the blender as it is. Uh, now one thing before you start grinding, you should allow some time for the dosakai and tomato to cool down. You know, right now it's very hot, I just switched off uh, the stove. So let it cool down and then uh, you should be grinding it in the blender. Okay, it's cooled down now. I added uh, everything to the blender. I also added half a teaspoon of salt. Now I'll be grinding the mixture into a smooth paste. Okay, we are all done. The dosakaya or sautekai pachdi is ready. You can garnish it with the chopped coriander leaves. You see, I have uh, ground it in the blender into a very smooth paste. Uh, you can use it uh, with uh, as a side dish for rice or with dosa or with chapatis or rotis. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please comment and I'll respond as quickly as possible.